नमस्कार दोस्तों करेंसी वीकली एनालिसिस के स्पेशल पार्ट में आप सभी का स्वागत है दिस इज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू जीबीपी डॉलर एंड जीबीपी आईएनआर एनालिसिस जनरली इन वीकली करेंसी एनालिसिस वी डिस्कस एवरीथिंग स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम डॉलर इंडेक्स डॉलर रुपी जीबीपी डॉलर जीबीपी एंड ऑल द करेंसी पेयर्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हिच इट टेक्स अबाउट 15 टू 20 मिनट्स टू कंप्लीट द डिस्कशंस दैट इज व्हाई वी नीड टू स्किप सो मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स बट from today onwards i would like to start the weekly and monthly perspective of individual currency wise especially for those who are mainly interested for gbp dollar and gbp inr can exclusively go through this analysis rather than the generalized analysis where we include most of the important currencies so today is your 2nd of december 2023 saturday and the weekly closing is at 1.2701 to start with the analysis we'd like to check the monthly candle formations because the month of november was over two days back and how the monthly is behaving monthly november candle is a strong bullish candle engulfing the two months activities means october month and november month almost uh, october month and september month both the two months is on the higher side little bit it's uh, left out but more than 90% of september and october activities are engulfed in the month of november so it's a very strong candle now overall perspective if we see in the monthly perspective in the month of september 2022 it traded a low of 1.070370 and in the month of july it traded high of 1.3142 september 22 to july 23 it traded in this range thereafter august month is a small body negative candle followed by september month a strong bearish candle and in the month of october it's a doji candle where we saw little movement in between now this november month candle which is a strong bullish candle what it signifies lot of energy lot of strength in this also rsi wise currently at 52.05 so to hit the resistance rsi at 60 there are lot lot of rooms that it may move as far as the monthly perspective is concerned to hit the resistance rsi 60 resistance considering the monthly candle if how to trade this monthly candle means the persons who want to initiate a longer range bigger period higher period uh, trading opportunities how to trade that in such a case what one can do after such a negative bias we need to wait for a negative candle weekly candle in the month of december suppose in the month of december say suppose next month there is a negative candle something like this one such negative candle is there above the high is going to be a buying opportunity and the low of that negative candle is going to be the stop loss for a good upward bias so this is the observation that we will wait for means next week onwards if we can get a negative candle whether the next week or thereafter anything so this is about the monthly perspective how we will approach the price action now comes weekly if we see the weekly price action it's a strong positive candle but immediately it hit the resistance of 1.2730 to 1.2750 from this level just uh, we found a strong downward bias and now approaching that level implicates that we may expect some sort of resistances at this area along with that if we consider the rsi rsi is 59.09 approaching 60 so rsi 60 is expected to act as a resistance now we need to see whether it is acting as a resistance or straight forward it is crossing above 60 that we need to check subsequently 
one more aspect about the price july 10th july to october means july to october this movement what i want to mean is your if we see from this movement to this movement this there are strong negative candles means negative price action has taken place and currently 61.8% of this negative bias is 1.27, area. So, FIF retracement wise, also there are possibilities key at 1.27, 1.2750, price may face some sort of resistance. One is already the resistance zone price wise. Second one is the RSI wise approaching 60. Third one is the FIF retracement. Now, there are three ways we can identify that this 1.2730, 1 1.2750 is expected to act as a resistance zone. And considering that, we need to see in the coming week whether it acts as a resistance or not. If resistance is there, then whether there is consolidation or straight retracement is there or not. For that purpose, we need to come to the weekly analysis, sorry, daily analysis. Now, if we consider the daily analysis, the price on 28th November, it approached the resistance zone. Thereafter, on the 29th, it formed a doji candle. Thereafter, a negative candle. On 30th of November. If we cut the last Friday's activity, then how it looks like? It looks like the evening star. Evening star at an important resistance level is expected to act as a good bearish signal. Considering that aspect, price has to move below Thursday's low. That means the Thursday's low is your 1.2603. So price has to trade below and sustain below the low of 1.2603. Unfortunately, Friday, there was no such movement. Rather, we saw a bullish, strong bullish candle engulfing the entire Thursday's activity. So what next? There are three probabilities. First is furthermore, it will consolidate before breaking above the resistance zone. One possibility. Second possibility is it will break above the resistance zone. And the third possibility is instead of going up, it may retrace towards the center band of the Bollinger Band. In such a case, Friday's low becomes an important landmark. Means below the Friday's low, Monday onwards, if GBP dollar starts trading below the low Friday, there are higher possibilities. We may expect a selling opportunities. The buyers may take GBP dollar towards the center band of the Bollinger Band, which is nothing but a 20 period moving average at 1.2475. But price action wise, 1.2380 to 1.2420 is expected to act as a good support zone as far as the price action is there. So, Monday onwards, we need to see whether price action is trading below the low of Friday or not. If no, then no need to look for these buying opportunities. Then, in such a case, we need to see whether it is consolidating or trading above your 29th November high. If it starts trading above 29th November high, in such a case, it will start moving higher. Daily RSI above 60 at 68.05. Already three times it is taking support above 60 and first, second and third and trying to move higher. So yeah, in this case, there are higher possibilities. So once it trades above 29th November high, there are higher possibilities it may move higher. In a nutshell, Monthly candle gives a strong positive bias. But weekly approaching 60, RSI 
and also the immediate price action wise resistance zone, which is also a 61.8% uh, retracement area. If weekly basis price is capable of breaking above this zone, 1.2730 to 1.2750, and RSA also moves above 60. In such a case, we can expect the GBP dollar in coming weeks or months to move towards 1.380 to 1.3150 levels. Daily perspective already just I have discussed. We need to wait for it's a short tenure means the uh, short term trading opportunities we need to see whether it is moving higher above uh, 29th high or below the first december low accordingly we can play overall lot uh, means um, good amount of strength is there only thing is that a weekly perspective the price action has to move above so this gbp dollar analysis uh, um, uh, means uh, this analysis where i am trying to Capture the monthly price sections, weekly price sections, and daily price sections. Now, just similarly in GBP INR, monthly candle is a strong bullish candle. Considering this, how to trade this GBP candle? But before uh, trading this GBP uh, means monthly strong candle, we need to see immediately there is a resistance zone at uh, 106. 0.80 to 107.40 at one immediate major resistance zone is there. So if we want to play from the buying side, we need to be a little bit careful. Even means even though the immediate resistance is there, how to trade weekly basis? We need a negative candle. That negative candle below the high uh, above the high of the negative candle, we can play long below the low of the negative weekly candle will be the stop loss and the target may be 1 to 2, 1 to 3 and more. Now, coming to weekly perspective. Weekly perspective, immediately one resistance zone is there that is at 106 to 106.40 levels. RSI moved above 60, currently at 62.08. So immediately resistance is not there as far as the RSI is concerned. But price wise, one resistance is we need to see whether it is respecting the resistance or not. And also that July, October retracement, it has crossed above 61.8%. Already moved much higher above the 61.8%. That hurdle has overcome. So here we can look for the buying opportunities. Now, if we consider the daily analysis, daily analysis, Similarly, 28th November approach the major resistance, 29th, a negative doji candle followed by a sell-off. This sell-off would give a evening star formations at an important resistance level. Only when the, that means Friday, it would have traded below the low of Thursday. But actually, that has not taken place. Rather, it moved higher. Almost... Uh, 80 to 90 percent of Thursday's negative activity was totally engulfed by Friday's strong bullish. But it signifies it has approached the immediate resistance level and thereafter price consolidation is there. In such a case, there are higher possibilities. The moment it trades above 29th November high, then some buying opportunities may be looked for. One side of the analysis, but the other side of the analysis, in case some negative environment is there. In such a case, only below the low of Friday, that means 105.1e, below that level, we may look for some selling opportunities, which may take towards the center bend of the Bollinger Band, which is nothing but the 20 period moving average. That means towards 104. Monday onwards, we need to see how the price action takes place. So GBP dollar and GBP INR currency analysis, monthly and weekly analysis is here only. Hope the detailed monthly, weekly and daily perspective that I have covered, you like the approach. Thank you and